1945 was a moment of hope for what still thought of itself as the Christian West. Only Judeo-Christian civilization had had the moral power to defeat fascism, and therefore only Judeo-Christian civilization would have the moral power to confront communism. The political center-right in most of post-war Europe was dominated by new Christian democratic parties, uniting Catholics and Protestants. In Britain, one of the intellectual architects of the post-war settlement was Archbishop William Temple, who was also, of course, a pioneer of Anglican Jewish reconciliation. This surge of Christian politics in Europe was not exactly matched by religious revival, but there was a modest uptick even in Europe. And in America, the change was unmistakable. In 1954, the United States added the phrase under God to the Pledge of Allegiance and adopted in God we trust as a national motto. This is more than just uh, an attempt to use religion as a way of bolstering the fight against communism. It's a recognition of a changing social reality. The previous year, the proportion of the US population who were formal members of a church reached its highest ever level, 59.5%. Polling indicated that the American public respected religious leaders in the 50s far more than any other group in society, and that's a dramatic turnaround from polling results from the pre-war years. Weekly church and synagogue attendance in the US rose from 38% in 1946 to 49% in 1955. Bible sales doubled 